Welcome back. It's Thursday's lesson, and this is a heavy one. What do you do when the time of trouble comes and you can't buy or sell? Especially when you know you will not be willing to compromise during that time. Here's what we know. Revelation 13 tells us that at the end of time, religion and politics are going to come together to force people to worship when and how they tell people to worship. Now, how are they going to force people to worship when and how they tell them to? It's simple, through money. You and I now live in a digital age where everything is, well, it's online, including our money. And if the last two years have taught us anything, it is that the government has the ability and the will and the power to seize our money and to control our banking. Whether you agree or disagree with the reasons for doing so is not the point. The point is they can seize your bank account and they can stop you from working, buying, or selling if they believe they have cause to do so. Bible prophecy tells us that a day is coming when the world government, in cooperation with a false system of religion, will believe that they have just cause in seizing our bank accounts and preventing us from working, buying, and selling. This is set to be the greatest threat to our financial and physical survival in the history of mankind. As the author of the lesson points out, this is going to put tremendous pressure on God's people. And the question is, how are we going to survive what's coming? I like what the lesson has to say about this. Don't put your faith in money or the things of this world. If your faith and trust is in money and you're in love with money, then what happens when they take away your money? They control you. Okay, here's what you need to know. They can only control you through money if you're in love with money, and your money is the thing you're trusting in for your survival, which is why we are told to make sure that our love and affection and trust is rooted in the things above. Because the one thing they can't take away from you is your intimate and loving relationship with Jesus. And this is why God asks us to return a faithful tithe and offering, so that we can put our trust in the Lord. You see, tithes and offerings are not about your money. It's about your heart, because your heart is bound to what you love. Well, that is our lesson and our nugget for today. Again, have a look at your lesson. I'll see you tomorrow.